Hey Tiggies. Okay, today we are doing a water marble nail art. I really hope you like this one. Let's just get straight into it. To start with, you're going to need some water. It has to be room temperature. That's what I've learned. Uh, I'm also using this, uh, it's basically a skewer and it's had a build up. See, I've been practicing a lot. So that's a, that's a build up of nail polish on the end of it. It's like a big, great big ball of nail polish. Uh, uh, to do the designs on the uh, water in the water on the water marble, I'm just using a fine pointed dotting tool. Now the polishes for this one are all China guys from the new offshore collection. Uh, first one is Wait and See. Then we have, which is a lime, Be More Pacific. And then the last one is Dune Our Thing. I'm also using China Glazer's White on White. Now with water marbling preparation is the key. You're going to need some tape. I'm just using washi tape because that's all I've got at the moment. And what you'll do is you'll tape your fingers up like this. Now this is something I always do. I put some polish, uh, put a drop of polish into the water and then try and spread it out. Uh, it didn't spread very well, but this is actually also a good way of cleaning up the surface of the water if you've used this um, same water before. Okay, so for the first step is to put your first drop of polish into the water, spread it out if you need to, and then proceed with alternating colours until you get to that bullseye which everybody talks about in water marbling. Uh, now, as you can see, the pink one is the one that spreads the best. It's just a trial and error to work out which ones are going to spread really well for you and which ones aren't. Now once you have your bullseye, you want to take your stick or whichever type of stick you're using and just have a little bit of a play. Um, this is probably what my biggest problem is with water marbling. I tend to play too much with the polish. So once you have a nice design, a design that you like and you want to put it on your nails, position the cup so that you can dip your nails into the water marble and then hold them there. Don't take them out straight away. Get your stick, uh, orange wood stick or pen or anything you like, and you might need to blow on the surface of the, of the polish or not, and then just clean up around and then take your hand out. The next step is to take the tape off. You just need to cut uh, with your scissors around near the pad of your, of your finger and then gently take it off. You don't want to lose the design that you've just created. Now, as you can see, as from the first dipping, I am actually dipping two fingers in at once because I have a big enough design to cover both of my fingers. Now, once you've completed all of your water marbling, you need to clean up. I'm using an angled Revlon eyeshadow brush and some non-acetone remover. Now you can leave your water marbling as is or you can add some dots to make it look even more interesting. I'm using exactly the same polishes that I use for the water marbling and just placing dots wherever I feel like it needs them. And once your design is completed, don't forget to protect it with a good quality top coat. I always use Sesh Feet. Links for where I get my Sesh Feet will be in the description box along with everything else. And that's it. I really hope you liked this one. Don't forget, I am not an expert at water marbling, but I do hope I've taught you something today. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye, Tiki. Oh, and I really appreciate you subscribing and thank you so much for the thumbs up if you gave me one.